Counseling Techniques, Envisioning Client Preferences, with Sandra Collins and Gina Coe. This counseling technique involves exploring how clients would like their lived experiences to be different and creating a detailed picture of what that might look like now or in the future. In this video, Sandra invites Gina to explore how her cultural identity may strengthen her good enough vision for herself across a couple of areas of her life. Gina, welcome back. Hi, Sandra. We've been talking about the good enough, Gina, and we've talked about good enough in a number of different contexts. And as I'm thinking about, you know, at this point in the therapeutic process, um, I would normally begin to work with clients to talk about how they would like things to be different. Providing transparency. I'm wondering if um, it would be fitting for, for you to share a little bit with me about what good enough would look like from within your worldview and your cultural lens, because it might be quite different from mine. Probing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, well, since you, since you mentioned culture, Sandra, I want to say, you know, in terms of my upbringing, it was very much more of a collectivistic, you know, mm -hmm. um, culture. I was raised by a community of aunts and uncles and grand grandmas. And um, so I, I think for me, this good enough, this, this is important because I feel like my children right now, I feel like I want them to be more in more in have more contact with my aunts and uncles mm -hmm. and my mom and, you know, they see auntie almost every week, my sister um, and my brother, not as much. But what I'm trying to say is I, I feel like there's more that could be cultivated in terms of providing them with this community where, where they can learn more of the language, which is Cantonese, and more mm -hmm. of the cultural values that I was brought up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The problem is time. <laughs> yeah, of course, of mm -hmm. course. Offering minimal encouragers. And it's interesting though, Gina, that both of the examples that you gave in terms of being mom and being a um, therapist, the good enough was tied, you used the word connection in both places, the good enough was tied to connection. Summarizing. This kind of broadens that sense of connection, not just connection between you and your kids, but that, that connection to community. Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm. Community, like my extended family, right? Yeah. yeah. So That's if you think about sort of the good enough as, you know, carrying into um, your role as a therapist, we talked about your writing, we talked about your um, podcast, we talked about a number of different spheres of your life. How do you see this sort of collectivist um, way of looking at connection flowing mm -hmm. into those areas questioning well when you mentioned writing I, I think about language Sandra uh I think I I my actually my, my master's thesis was about passing on language Cantonese to my children right so I feel that um for relationships to be cultivated for connection to grow language is crucial mm -hmm. so I I, I my, as a mom I have I really do want my children to have more of a proficiency in Cantonese so they can speak more with aunts and uncles who are their their first language is Cantonese right so so I think um sometimes that part of me doesn't feel like I'm good enough because English takes over right it's so easy to slip slip back into English so mm -hmm. however I'm I, I try my best every day to to insert some Cantonese and some um moments of sharing with them it's so important you know to have our first language and to be able to communicate with um um the elders right with with that language so when you were first talking about good enough i was coming from my you know more individualist worldview and so i was thinking about the good enough as something sitting within you self-disclosing and yet, the more you talk, I realize that good enough is really a, is really also a relational concept. Yeah. Reflecting meaning. What is a good enough being in relationship mm -hmm. look like? Reflecting meaning. I don't know if that fits for you or not. Clarifying. Very, very much so. Very, very much so. Um, yeah, being in relation. I mean, we 
you know, humans, we are relational beings, we are social beings and, um, and a part of, um, you know, being Chinese and the Asian-ness in me, um, I, I, I really brightened up when I hear my children speaking a few Cantonese words with my aunt, for example, on the phone, you know, saying thank you for the bows, like the buns she makes for us, for example, right? And it shows, uh, it shows how much, you know, they appreciate it and how I appreciate her and she's, she's laughing on the phone and she's, I'm sure she's full of smiles. So it's very relational for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the feedback that you get in terms of good enough in that relationship is um, not just about you as a person. It's about you in relation to this broader sense of family and how you facilitate that. Summarizing. Yeah, yeah. And I hope my children, you know, growing up and growing older will take, right, these learnings with them and they will cherish, right? The, the relation and they already do not that they don't even more so though and the secret i mean i've kept this to myself but i do hope they if and when they have children if they choose to they will also pass along these cultural teachings and the language and the relational you know aspects well why don't we just stop there for today gina and pick up again on the, the idea of good enough in relationship and explore that a little bit more as we begin to envision how um, your life or what your life would look like as you embrace the good enough in relation in these various aspects of your life. Providing transparency. Yes, that sounds good, Sandra. Thank you.